Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 171.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel Comics being released April 29th, 2015, beginning alphabetically with all new Captain America number 6. Baron Blood vs. Captain America, Hydra's War is won, and Zemo's atrocities continue. Sam Wilson will earn his stripes the single greatest sacrifice in a lifetime of them, and he will never be the same again. The end of the first story arc that sets the stage for the coming age of Hydra. Next, we've got Avengers number 44, final issue, time ran out. This April, the Avengers and the Illuminati face down their final hours. The clock is winding down and the final incursion is upon us. Superstar writer Jonathan Hickman, along with blockbuster artists Mike Diodato and Kev Walker, bring to a close the epic saga of the Avengers, the Illuminati, and the Marvel Universe on the brink of extinction. The incursions from parallel Earths from other dimensions have taken their toll on our heroes, and the battle-worn Avengers stand ready to face utter decimation. Before the highly anticipated Secret Wars begins in May, close out Jonathan Hickman's epic Avengers and New Avengers saga with these two oversized final issues. What changes await Earth's mightiest heroes? Be there when time runs out this April in Avengers number 44 and New Avengers 33. We've also got Daredevil number 15. As an old foe makes a surprising return, Daredevil must make harder choices. But is he going off the deep end? Also, Daredevil's got nothing on Kristen McDuffie. Next, we have Fantastic Four number 645. The most controversial Fantastic Four story concludes in an extra size special. Will the Fantastic Four defeat the Quiet Man and the corrupted forces of the Heroes Reborn universe? Will Johnny get his powers back? Will Reed and Sue be a family again? Will this be the end, or will this be forever? We've also got Inhuman number 14. Lineage has been lurking in the background since the beginning. It's time for him to show his hand. The climax of year one of Inhuman is here. Don't miss it. Next we have Marvel Universe Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors number 6. Spidey and the Hulk switch minds, resulting in a rampaging web swinger. It's clobbering time as the incredible Spider-Hulk stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Thing. We've also got Max Ride First Flight number 2 of 5. James Patterson's worldwide best-selling series gets a Marvel makeover. Follow the soaring adventures of Max and her extraordinary flock, Fang, Iggy, Nudge, Gaspin, and Angel, as they try to escape their creators and defend themselves from the diabolical erasers. Along the way, Max discovers her purpose, saving the world, but can she? Next, we have Moon Knight number 14, a new chapter that brings the horror and insanity of Moon Knight to new heights. Mysterious wolves are threatening the knights in New York City, and it's up to Mr. Knight to figure it all out. We've also got New Avengers number 33, with the same solicit as Avengers 44. Final issue, time ran out. This April, the Avengers and the Illuminati face down their final hour. The clock is winding down and the final incursion is upon us. Superstar writer Jonathan Hickman, along with blockbuster artists Mike Diodato and Kev Walker, bring to a close this epic saga of the Avengers, the Illuminati, and the Marvel Universe on the brink of extinction. The incursions from parallel Earths from other dimensions have taken their toll on our heroes, and the battle-worn Avengers stand ready to face utter decimation. Before the highly anticipated Secret Wars begins in May, close out Jonathan Hickman's epic Avengers and New Avengers saga with these two oversized final issues. What changes await Earth's Mightiest Heroes? Be there when time runs out this April in Avengers 44 and New Avengers number 33. Next we have New Avengers Ultron Forever number 1, part 2 of 3, The Epic Avengers Adventure continues. When Thor's Clash, Vision vs. Vision, to the death, the strangest Hulk out of all, the Loki of the 25th century. Ultron makes his move, but does Doctor Doom have something even worse up his metal sleeve? We've also got Nova number 30, hot out of the Black Vortex crossover, Nova is back on Earth, but problems have followed him back to Earth, and this arc will test Sam more than anything ever has before. Next, we have Princess Leia number 3 of 5. Leia's mission leads to the underground world of Solist. The Empire's forces are on her trail and gaining. Join the galaxy's toughest princess on a quest to save her people. We've also got Shield number 5. Someone's been gun-running magical weapons into the Marvel Universe, and now S.H.I.E.L.D. is under siege by a mysterious threat that can't be cataloged or classified, and against which S.H.I.E.L.D. super science is useless. Guest starring Scarlet Witch. Next, we have Secret Avengers number 15, Arc of a Journey. The end is the beginning is the end is the... Unlikely partners have a meeting far away from the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier. The Secret Avengers run comes to its natural conclusion. Prepare your handkerchiefs. We've also got Silk number 3, Silk vs. Black Cat, not looking good for Miss Moon. 
Silk's been picking at the edges of Black Cat's operation, and Felicia Hardy has had about enough, plus a last-page appearance of some very familiar folks. Next, we have Silver Surfer number 11, Never After, special oversized issue, trapped in time, lost in space, with alien threats forever on the attack, and paradise just outside his reach. What terrible price will the surfer pay to fulfill his most selfless promise? A twist on a sci-fi classic that could only be told through sequential art. Forget sideways issues and silent issues. Slot and Allred are bringing you a modern-day Marvel comic you'll be talking about for years to come. We've also got Spider-Man and the X-Men number 6, Spider-Man trapped in the clutches of one of the X-Men's greatest foes, all betrayals, deceptions, and misunderstandings revealed, and a shopping mall gets totally wrecked, cause why not? Next we have Superior Iron Man number 8, a phantom from Tony's past is back to haunt him, it's Iron Man vs. Iron Man, but who or what is in Tony's old armor? We've also got True Believers, What Can You Get For A Dollar? How About The Marvel Universe? Marvel is proud to present True Believers, special introductory comics for the low price of only $1 each. Coming this April, your window into the biggest stories in Marvel history costs only a buck. Enter the world of Civil War, Age of Apocalypse, Old Man Logan, Planet Hulk, the critically acclaimed Icon series Powers, and many more with the first chapters of these top-selling critically acclaimed collections. Just in time for Secret Wars, maybe you've heard of it, Secret Wars, the biggest Marvel event ever. Catch up on some of the most celebrated stories in Marvel histories before their appearance in the biggest comic event of 2015. This week we have three titles, True Believers Age of Ultron number 1, reprinting Age of Ultron number 1, True Believers Miles Morales number 1, reprinting Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number 1, and Powers First number 1, reprinting Powers number 1. Next we have Wolverine's number 16, Mr. Sinister was robbed of his prize, the adamantium-covered body of Wolverine, when the X-Men stole it from his Finlandian fortress. But they left something behind, another piece of the puzzle, something else that was taken from our team. The revenge of Mr. Sinister starts here, and who better to initiate it than the Paradise team? And we've got X-Men number 26, the conclusion of Ms. Marvel creator G. Willow Wilson's first X-Men tale, The Burning World. Investigating mysterious natural phenomena in the Black Rock Desert, the X-Men have discovered something monstrous that has ties to their own past. Reliving history, can the X-Men find a way to win the day this time around, or are they doomed to make the same painful mistakes? Out in trades this week, we've got Amazing Spider-Man Edge of Spider-Verse trade paperback. Peer over the edge of the Spider-Verse at five different realities and five daringly different spiders. Spider-Man Noir returns as the Peter Parker in the 1930s finds himself up against Mysterio and knee-deep in the biggest Spider-Man event of all. What is the secret of Dr. Aaron Aikman, the Spider-Man? Who are the villainous Red Eye and Amura, and can Aaron live through Moreland's arrival? In a universe where the story you know becomes as horrific as possible, a radioactive spider bites high school nerd who is already something of a monster. Then, who or what is the incredible SP double slash DR? And finally, the breakout character of Spider-Verse makes her exciting debut in a world where the radioactive spider bit Gwen Stacy. Collects Edge of Spider-Verse number 1 through 5. Next, we have Avengers Epic Collection Volume 4, Behold the Vision trade paperback. Prepare yourself for one of the most stellar creative periods in Avengers history. Roy Thomas, John Buscema, Gene Colan, and Sal Buscema raise Earth's mightiest heroes to unheard of heights with the debut of The Vision, an all-out battle with Ultron, and the introduction of Yellow Jacket, and an all-new Goliath. Then Kang the Conqueror drops in from the 41st century, pitting our heroes against the Squadron Sinister in a cosmic chess match. As if one set of adversaries from across time wasn't enough, the Avengers must also battle the Captain America, Submariner, and Human Torch in 1941. Also featuring the Black Panther vs. the Sons of the Serpent, the Return of Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch, and Barbarian Archon the Magnificent. Collects Avengers number 57 through 76 and Marvel Superheroes number 17. We've also got Avengers Vision and the Scarlet Witch trade paperback new printing. The unlikely romance between the Vision and the Scarlet Witch was one of the Avengers' most famous storylines. Now witness what happens when the two heroes finally get hitched and settle down in the suburbs. If you think they're going to live the quiet life, think again. See how a match made in heaven led to a wedding in limbo, and how a Halloween horror proves that there's still magic in their marriage. Plus, a Golden Age mystery with ties to the Witch's past is solved. The Vision bonds with his brothers in all but blood, but who is is the Scarlet Witch's father. Marvel's oddest couple shows that home is where the heroes are. Guest starring the Avengers and the Inhumans versus Dormammu, the Grim Reaper, and more. Collects Giant Size Avengers number 4 and Vision and the Scarlet Witch number 1 through 4. 
Next, we have Avengers West Coast Vision Quest trade paperback new printing. It's battles, betrayals, and the bizarre as only Byrne could bring you. Watch as one of Comicdom's most recognizable talents remakes the West Coast Avengers, starting with the capture and dismantling of the Vision. As secrets about the Synthesoid come to light, the wackos are determined to get their teammate back, safe and sound. But what happens when the Vision they recover isn't the Vision they remember? And most importantly, how will this shocking change affect the Vision in the Scarlet Witch marriage and family? Plus, Ancient Secrets of Humanity Revealed, the Scarlet Witch's first step into the descent that disassembled the Avengers, the debut of the Great Lakes Avengers, and featuring the triumphant return of one of Marvel's hottest Golden Age greats, the original Human Torch. Collects West Coast Avengers number 42 through 47, Avengers West Coast number 48 through 50. Next, we have Elektra Volume 2 Reverence Trade Paperback. Elektra takes on an enraged Assassin's Guild. After battles with Cape Crow, Bloody Lips, Lady Bullseye, and Scalp Hunter, Elektra vows to take the fight back to the guild itself. Now it's Elektra versus the world as she begins hunting down the guild's agents before they can find her and her allies. And her first stop is New Orleans, the guild's home turf, where a vengeful Lady Bullseye secretly lies in wait, planning a vicious ambush. Then Elektra takes on an entire S.H.I.E.L.D. facility single-handedly. What could be important enough for Elektra to pit herself against Marvel's most advanced intelligence agency, coming face-to-face -face with the man who killed her and returning the favor? As the guild closes in, Elektra faces Bullseye. Will her training and expertise be enough to defeat all her foes? The final round is here. Collects Elektra number 6 through 11. Next, we have Fantastic Four Omnibus Volume 3 Hardcover. Under Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, Fantastic Four earned the tagline, The World's Greatest Comic Magazine, and there's no doubting it when you read the adventures they have in store for you in their third Omnibus collection. It's one history-making hit after another. The first appearance of the Kree, Annihilus, and him, a.k.a. Adam Warlock, team-ups with the Inhumans and Silver Surfer and the birth of Franklin Richards. Add in classic enemies Doctor Doom, the Mole Man, and Galactus, and Crystal's first outing as a member of the FF, and you know what? The world's greatest comic magazine is an understatement. These are some of their greatest adventures of all time. Collects Fantastic Four number 61 through 93 and Annual 5 through 7 and material from Not Brand Eck number 5 through 7. We've also got Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron, the art of the movie slipcase hardcover. The Avengers assemble again in Marvel Studios' follow-up to the record-breaking Marvel's The Avengers. Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, and Jeremy Rayner reprise their roles as world-saving heroes in an adventure like no other. In this new collectible volume, go around the world with the Avengers in page after page of stunning concept art, production design, visual effects, revealing set photography, and commentary from cast and crew, including writer-director Joss Whedon and producer Kevin Feige. Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron takes Marvel Cinematic Universe to new heights in yet another silver screen triumph. Next, we have Original Sin Trade Paperback, Who Killed the Watcher? Watu, the mysterious space god who observes mankind from the moon, is dead. Thus begins the greatest murder mystery in Marvel history. As Nick Fury leads Marvel's heroes in an investigation, other forces marshal and other questions arise. Who is the Unseen? What was stolen from the Watcher's lair? Why is Black Panther gathering a secret team of his own, including Emma Frost, the Punisher, and Doctor Strange? Fury's cosmic manhunt leads to the far corners of the universe, but just when the Avengers think they've cornered their murderer, everything explodes, unleashing the Marvel Universe's greatest secrets and rocking the heroes to their core. What did the Watcher see? Who pulled the trigger? What was the original sin? Find out here. Collecting original sin number 0 through 8 and material from point 1. We've also got Original Sins trade paperback. The Young Avengers are back and facing down the hood. But when the Watcher's eye detonates, causing all the Marvel Universe's hidden truths to come tumbling into the light, the balance of power will suddenly shift and one of the Young Avengers will fall. Then discover the original sins of major Marvel mainstays such as the Inhumans, Doctor Doom, J. Jonah Jameson, the Black Knight, Howard the Duck, Lockjaw, and more, including the prime mover behind the Watcher's murder. Plus, he's a cybernetic master assassin and he doesn't even know it, presenting the all-new Deathlock's deadly debut, and learn the secret histories of Woodrow McCord and Stafford, the men on the wall who defended Earth from alien threats years before Nick Fury took up the mantle. Collects Original Sins number 1 through 5 and Original Sin Annual number 1. Next, we have Spider-Verse hardcover. When the evil inheritors begin exterminating spider characters throughout the multiverse, every single Spider-Man ever is needed to save the day. An interdimensional spider army gathers to fight Moreland and his deadly family, but none of them is safe as the prophecy comes to fruition. 
What will this brutal war for survival mean for Peter Parker and the rest of the Spiders? Starring the Superior Spider-Man, the Ultimate Universe's Miles Morales and Jessica Drew, Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Woman, Silk, Kane, Scarlet Spider, MC2 Spider-Girl, Spider-Man War, Spider-Man 1602, Spider-Ham, Spider-Monkey, Lady Spider, Spider-Punk, Spider-UK, a Spider-Powered Gwen Stacy, and hundreds more from the beloved to the obscure. Collects Amazing Spider-Man number 7 through 15, Superior Spider-Man 32 and 33, Spider-Verse 1 and 2, Spider-Verse Team-Up 1 through 3, Scarlet Spiders 1 through 3, Spider-Woman 1 through 4, Spider-Man 2099 6 through 8, and material from Free Comic Book Day 2014 number 1. And we've got X-Force Volume 3 ends means trade paperback. Phantom X's compulsion to be the best has caused him to turn on his former teammates. Can a squad of killers hope to escape science perfect living weapon? Phantom X begins a murderous rampage, taking out each and every one of the world's secret intelligence agencies, working his way closer to X-Force. Knowing the confrontation is inevitable, Cable and his team ready themselves for the fight of their lives. And as X-Force learns the true identity of the villain they have been pursuing for months, Cable hatches one last scheme, and the fate of Hope Summers is revealed. In the final showdown with Phantom X, X-Force will give everything they have to defeat their power-mad teammate-turned-adversary, and in the end, not everyone will emerge unscathed. Collects X-Force number 11 through 15. Alright, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He'sGotIssues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.